Hello everyone, this is Mansoor Mustafa. So in this video, I am going to discuss the first two topics of the first chapter of O-level physics. So let's start. Now in this video, I will discuss first of all the introduction to the physics and then I will discuss to the physical quantities in their SI units. Now as we are studying the subject physics, so we must know that what is mean by physics. Now if we talk about the simple definition or the meaning of a physics in a simple term, we can say that it's the study of nature. Now question is that what is meant by nature? Means okay, what are the things which we can study in the nature? Now for that consider the example of your classroom. For example, if you are sitting in a classroom, so if you want to find out Okay, what are the things which can make the nature of your classroom so you just uh, observing you just start observing the things around you you can see the first of all the size of your classroom you can observe what are uh, uh, the uh, how many doors are there how many windows are in your class what how many chairs are there in your class so you can observe the whiteboard the students sitting in the class teacher or the lighting in your class you can uh, measure you can observe what is the temperature of your class you can also observe how much air is inside your class and there can be other things as well so all these things makes the nature of your classroom same like if we talk about the nature of other things so we can have so many things in the universe just like for example changing days and night changing of seasons falling of the raindrops, lightning in the clouds or revolving of a planet uh, of planets in a solar system. Now all these things which we have discussed, they are working according to the principles of nature, according to the laws of nature. So in physics, we study those laws. Now if we talk about in a technical term, so the things which exist in the universe can be uh, either matter or they can be energy means okay, all things which we can see which we can feel they can be matter or they can be energy so particularly in physics we study the properties of those things which can be matter or energy and we also study what is relationship in between them so if we want to define the physical in a technical terms we can say that physics is the branch of science which deals with the study of matter, energy, and their interaction. So this is the technical definition of physics. Now, as we have discussed the physics, now we uh, uh, come back to the same example of classroom. Let's say what uh, we can do with the things uh, which we have observed in the classroom. We can measure the volume of classroom. We can measure what is the temperature at that time we can measure what is the duration of one lecture of the classroom we can measure the mass of the chairs inside the room we can measure the weight of our body so all these things which we can measure so those things are called physical quantities so now we'll be discussing in detail that what is meant by a physical quantity now as i discussed a quantity that can be measured and the laws of physics are applied on that quantity so all those quantities are called physical quantities now what can be the examples of physical quantity just like we have considered few examples that can be time area pressure volume force energy weight and there are so many other examples of quantities so all these quantities are called physical quantities now when we talk about measuring any physical quantity, so any physical quantity consists of these two things. Means okay, without these two things, a physical quantity cannot be completely represented. And what are those two things? First one is the numerical magnitude. Second one is the unit. Now for example, let's say we are measuring a physical quantity that is height. We are measuring a height. Now, it is mentioned that magnitude of this height is 4.5 and its unit is meter. Now let's say for example, 
we only write it as a uh, uh, means can we only write it as a 4.5 we don't mention what's the unit so that will be a confusing that whether that 4.5 means can that height is 4.5 meter or it's the 4.5 centimeter or it's uh, it can be anything else 4.5 inch 4.5 uh, millimeter or what what uh, else it sorry it means can to represent a physical quantity there must be a numerical magnitude along with a proper unit. Same like we have another <coughs> sorry. We have another quantity that is speed. And magnitude of speed is 70 and its unit is kilometers per hour. Means that to represent any physical quantity, there must be unit and a, a numerical value along with its proper unit. Now, when we talk about the physical quantities, so all existing physical quantities now i'm using the word existing that means that there might be possible in future that new physical quantity may be discovered so that's why i'm just using a word that the uh, till now out of all existing quantities these quantities are categorized into two groups there are some quantities which are called fundamental or base quantities and there are other quantities which are called drive quantities so now we'll be discussing uh, these two types one by one. So first of all, the base quantities are the quantities which can be calculated, which can be measured independently. Means that in order to calculate these quantities, there is no need, there is uh, no need to calculate or uh, to measure any other quantity. They are calculated separately. Now out of all existing quantities till now there are only seven quantities which are categorized as fundamental quantities it might be possible in future new quantities may discover and they may be included in the fundamental but till now there are only seven quantities which are categorized as fundamental quantities and what are those quantities length mass time temperature electric current luminous intensity and amount of substance these are the seven quantities which are called fundamental quantities now when we talk about measuring any physical quantity let's say for example we are measuring the length of any object so that length can be measured in meters it can be measured in centimeters it can also be measured in kilometers and other units as well same like if you want to measure the mass it can be measured in grams kilograms milligrams same like uh, uh, we have different units to measure the time it means that a single quantity can have multiple units now these multiple units uh, are an advantage of these physical quantities but at the same time they can create a, a problem how they can create a problem means that it's very difficult to memorize all these units along with their relationships means that let's say for example if we want to find out the relationship between an uh, inch and meters so that uh, sometimes it is difficult to find out that relation so in order uh, to make it easy in 1960 scientists proposed a standard system what they proposed in that standard system they just assigned a single uh, unit from all these uh, existing units of physical quantities and they called it as an standard or an si unit it means that now you must you mu uh, must remember the standard unit of each physical quantity that will be easy uh, uh, to understand and to calculate now what are the standard units they uh, means uh, which were assigned in 1960 by the scientists so now first one we have the fundamental quantity that is length they assigned the unit meter as an standard unit of the length now along with these units they also assigned the particular symbol for the, uh, for that uh, unit it means that whenever we want to calculate we want to write that uh, physical quantity with that unit so we'll be writing it with its particular symbol same like mass uh, it had a uh, its uh, SI unit 
kilograms. Same like second is the SI unit of time. Electric current has an SI unit ampere. Temperature, Kelvin, luminous uh, intensity, candela and amount of substance as an SI unit mole. So these are the fundamental quantities along with their SI units. Now as we have discussed the fundamental quantities, now we will move to the drive quantities. Now the drive quantities are the quantities which are obtained by multiplying or dividing or sometimes by doing both operations with the fundamental quantity. Just like for example, we have a physical uh, quantity area. Now if you want to calculate area, so that area is calculated using length multiplied by width. Now actually length and width, they both are the distances, which means that they are the fundamental, in terms of fundamental quantity, they both are lengths. So it means that we are multiplying length and length in order to get the area. Now whenever we talk about the SI unit of these drive quantities, so they are also calculated from their formula. How they are calculated? Just like if you, are, uh, if you want to calculate the SI unit of area, so that is length multiplied by length. So length has an SI unit meter. So unit of area will be meter multiplied by meter. That will be meter square. Same like if you want to calculate volume, so we will multiply length three times. So we will get a physical quantity, drive physical quantity that is volume and its unit will be cubic meters. Now we have another quantity that is speed. Now this speed is calculated using a formula that is distance divided by time. Now if you want to see okay, what are the fundamental quantities on which this speed depends, so we can see that, we can observe that the distance is actually a length and we have a second uh, quantity that is time. So it means that speed is depending on two fundamental quantities that are length and time. And similarly, if you want to calculate the SI unit of speed, that will become meters divided by seconds and we call it as a meters per second. So that is the SI unit for the speed. We have another physical quantity that is force. Now, if you want to calculate force, the so force is mass times acceleration. Now acceleration is the rate of change of velocity. It means that acceleration is velocity divided by time. It means that if we want to see okay, what are the fundamental quantities on which this force is depending, so that force, this force is depends on three fundamental quantities and uh, those fundamental quantities are mass, velocity or we can simply say speed and time. So these are the fundamental quantities on which this force is depends. Now if we want to calculate the SI unit of force that is again calculated in the same way as we calculated with the previous uh, examples. Now if we see the SI unit of force that becomes kilograms meters per second square. Now this kilograms meter per second square is collectively called Newton. That is based on we can uh, or we can say that this is a tribute to a famous physicist, uh, Sir Isaac Newton. So this is all about physical quantities and their SI units. So this is all about this lecture. We'll be uh, we'll continue uh, uh, the next topics in the next video. Now, if you have any query related to any topic of the physics. So you can contact me at my email address or on my WhatsApp number. Have a nice day. Thank you.